everybody. This is Adrian with Ascension Soul Coaching. So we just had a reading tonight on Ellen's show regarding what Helen, Ellen and Megan and Oprah felt. Now we're going to do a really quick reading on how the royal family felt about the reading, more so the seniors, and what Harry felt about it. So I was going to do the reading really quick. So I'm going to just pull out a couple of cards. I'm going to use the Oracle Mystical Moments. You see that? Yep. And we're going to just put two cards really quick. I'll let you know. How does Harry feel about what the Ellen show? How did he feel it went for his wife? How did it go for Megan on the Ellen show? How does he think it turned out? How did he think it impacts her credibility, her character, her reputation? How does he think it worked out for her? I just want one card. And Harry's card, I'm going to throw out to the right here. Or, let's see. My left and then the royal family be my right. And as soon as it comes out, I will let you all see it so you all can know. And, you know, I just want to do it really, really quick. Short, short reading. Okay, Harry first, please. What does he feel? What does he think? Okay, one card, please. We got one card. This is Harry's card, y'all. And it's um, White Rose of Hope. See that? Beautiful card, and we're going to have one more card for the royal family. What do they think of the Ellen show with Meghan Markle, and how do they think it impacted Meghan's reputation, character, opportunity? Is she upstanding or what? And so two cards popped out, but the one that came out the furthest was this card, <clears throat> and it, it oh, it's reversed, and it's the ex, 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 elixir of life. It's reversed. Anyway, so it's reverse. So I'm going to read cards only because um, these are oracle cards, not tarot cards. <clears throat> so for Harry, Harry feels that the white rose of hope is a hope beacon solution beginnings. We see a woman dressed. There we go. We see a woman dressed in the gown, standing some, some, somewhere in a lonely landscape. Darkness surrounds her, but a shining white rose glows like a beacon and illuminates, and illuminates the night. Maybe this woman is lost. Maybe she is uncertain about her feelings. Yet, thanks to the light of the flower, she can find her way. White rose, white roses symbolizes hope, new beginnings, admiration, and young love. They're exact. They're exciting times ahead. So he's feeling that she's lost. She's upset. I'm sure she's definitely upset about what happened. He's kind of upset for her. And maybe she's double questioning herself about the show she was on. But he feels like there's hope. Because as long as she's still there and she's in her element, as I said before, in the last reading, that Ellie is her home. This is where she feels that she can make it or break it, right? That there's hope still there. There's people still interested in her. In America, is a little different than overseas with the British... Um, you know, and maybe some of the European nations, but over here, we're more forgiving of people who make mistakes and fall. And um, he's hoping that, and he's been told, Sunshine Sacks, the beacon of light, that just keep at it, keep at it. You know, you'll you'll get your break. Okay, so he's 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 staying with that with her. He's standing behind her with hope. You don't want to discourage your wife, or your spouse, or partner anyway. You want to always say, no matter how bad it looks now. It can get. It's going to get better. So I'm sure he's telling her that there's a lot of hope. Just keep at it. I know you feel a little depressed. I know you feel like maybe you shouldn't have done it, but this is the way forward. And I'm here with you. Okay, royal family. Fifteen. So Excel X elixir of life. So we're gonna read card fifteen, and it was reversed. All right. Let's get y'all to see this card. For some reason, my camera is like being a little funky. Okay. So, healing, consolidation, <laughs> reinvigoration, and truth. A woman 
is leaning toward a red, a deep red rose. She faces the flower with her eyes. Now remember, this is reverse, y'all. Let me get it in focus. There we go. Okay. With her eyes closed. Concentrating on the last bloom. She is receiving the sweet scent of nature and her energy of life. The wind rustles her hair, whispering the truth of the universe into her ears. She can hear her own breath mingling with the wind, sitting quietly in nature by steam or by stream or in a garden can help still a wandering mind and and head okay and heal a troubled heart. Now, as you said, this is about truth. The overall reading of this card, they always summarize it, right? They always summarize it. And it says healing, consolidation, reinvigoration, and truth. So what they feel like this was a reverse. So it's not reinvigoration of her title of, of anything. Uh, it's no healing here, no consolidation, and definitely no truth. Because we already been told and known now that Megan lies a whole lot. She just lied to the court, right, in Britain about the Finding Freedom book that she helped write and the letter that she wrote and she set up a grant her father in the mail on Sunday. So they don't feel like that is helping her at all. There is not healing. All it's doing is showing her to be the, the person she is, I should say, in my opinion, the person that she is, which is not a truthful person. So it's just coming out. So there's a lot of dread going on right now, despair and disappointment in Megan. Uh, right now, Harry's feeling it because his wife is feeling, un un oh, he's probably getting it, you know. He's there supporting her, but, you know, sometimes when you're feeling bad and you've done the wrong thing, and maybe, you know, this is her plan. It wasn't his plan. It was her plan um, with Sunshine, Sunshine Sachs um, that got her there. And But Harry's going to stand by her, but because he's standing by her, you know, you kick the dog. You kick the When you're down, some people just kick the dog, and Harry is her little dog. And so he's being kicked, but he's going to stand by his wife until the end of time. He is until he's ready to say, I'm done. And it's going to be a while, y'all. It's going to be a while. It will happen, but it'll be a while. So this is the relationship they're in, the narcissistic and um, uh, codependent. It's, it's, it's just one of those relationships that you can't just easily pull people out of. There's a there's a there's a string that's so tight it's holding them together and the more you try to say you need to leave, the more they want to stay to prove you wrong and to prove the relationship right. So it's just not going anywhere right now. And then the, the royal family is like, This girl, you're not doing anything to help yourself. This is making you look worse. You're lying. Um, it's coming out now, and we knew it, but now everybody else is seeing it. So they just think that the the Ellen show just made her appear more who she is, somebody who's just desperate to get back in the show business, somebody who wants to be in the thick of everything and get her name and the relevancy out there, and who will do anything to get it. And so, you know, I know that they said that this is what they said that the, the charles has said they didn't have any money for her and then why don't she just continue to act and so she's like she could in her mind says well i'm doing what they told me to do when i first married into the family when they said they didn't have any money for me whether they said that or not i'm not sure but let's just say he did say you can still work you know um the two nieces work you know the two york sisters work um but it's this way you do it you know they can't just go out and just sell their title so anyway this is where we are, people. That was a quick reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in your comments. What do you think? How the royal family feels about what happened with Ellen and um, Megan? And what do you think, Harry? How Harry felt about it? So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'll talk to you and uh, very soon this week. I'm sure something else will be coming up that we can talk about. Always, always, always. Blessings, people. Bye-bye.